Hello, good day viewers. Here is our new topic, as promised, bearings and distance. There are two different things harmonized together to carry out a specific task. But let me be honest with you. If you want to understand bearings clearly, you need to be familiar with geometry and trigonometry. I have so many videos on that. Bearings are used to describe a particular direction in which an object is moving towards from a particular point or we say it is used to describe at the direction in which an object is seen from that point while distance is just the amount of space between that object from the point. So we have two types of bearings. We have the compass bearing and we have the true bearing, which sometimes is referred to as three figure bearing. But in this tutorial, we are going to center the discussion based on compass bearing. Before the inception of maps and GPS, compass is used for navigation and orientation. And this compass is invented in China. So in mathematics, Compass bearing is represented with four major cardinal points. And these four major cardinal points are north, south, east, and west. So there are two important things I want you to understand here. In between every two major cardinal points is 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is also 90 degrees. Collectively, we have 360 because 90 plus 90 is 180, plus another 90 is 270, plus another 90 is 360 degrees. That's number one. And secondly, I want you to know that every direction is either measured from the north or from the south because we don't measure direction from the west or east. Suppose this point here, this center is P. This is north of P, this is east of P, this is south of P, and this is west of P. The north of P is zero degrees, the east of P is 90 degrees because in between this north and east is 90 degrees and the south of P is 180 degrees, the combination of 90 and 90. West of P is 270 and the north of P, if you're coming back, you know north is our origin, we say okay north of P is 0 degrees. But anything very close to north could either be 359 with some points in that order. In between these four major cardinal points, we may have some points like this, something like this. If these are points, to describe these points, you know we can either major from the north or from the south. This is not east. The direction of this point is not east. We don't say east not because we measure from the north or from the south. This is southeast. We don't say east south because we either measure from the south or from the north. This is southwest. This is not west. We may have some other subdivisions. If to say we have another one here, another one here, another one here, and another one here. You can see already this is east, this is southeast. In between them, you have to start from the south. South, east, east. So this is, okay, let me use another one. This is south, East, east. This one, you can see this is southeast, this is south. So this becomes south, southeast. 
this is southwest we have south so we have south southwest so this is south south west while this one here is in between west and the southwest so this becomes southwest west because you have to start from the south or from the north while this one is in between west and the northwest so we have north west west and uh, this one is between north and northwest so we have north north west and lastly here is another one which is not not east not not east ah, so we have another one here we have not east east so this is how to measure them or how to name them okay let's see how we can name some directions in compass vienna so here we have four directions that we want to describe. We have A, B, C, and D. Let's start with A. Remember I told you every direction is measured either from the north or from the south. So you can see this A is in between east and the north. And it is very close to the north than south. So we have to consider the north. So it is in between north and east. But we have to measure from the north. And our north is always the origin. So from the origin, moving towards east direction, we meet A at 68 degrees. So to name this, we say, okay, the angle is measured from the north, 68 degrees, moving towards the east direction. So not 68 degrees east is the direction that describes the position of A. Moving on to B. B is very close to south compared to north and hence we have to consider the south. And we cannot measure from east going to south rather from the south to east. So you can see this angle is measured from the S, which is south, moving to E, and it meets at B. So we say B is south 35 degrees east. So this is what describes this position B, south 35 degrees east. Then moving on to C, You can see that C is also closer to south compared to north. And we have to consider this. So we say south 54 degrees west. South 54 degrees west. And last but not the least, B. You can see that the angle D subtends is measured from the west to north, but we don't describe position as such. We must either measure from the north or from the south. But remember, I told you in between two major cardinal points is 90 degrees. So from north to west is 90 degrees. If from north to west is 90 degrees, and we have to measure D from north. So this is the angle we are interested in. So here is already 65 degrees. What must be added to 65 degrees to make it 90? That angle is 25 degrees. So instead of considering 65 degrees, we can now use 25 degrees from north to west. So this is not 25 degrees to west so if the angle given to you is not from the north or from the south you can subtract that angle from 90 degrees so as to use the appropriate direction so let us see other questions this is the question we have 
it says we should describe the position of A 280 degrees from the origin. Remember, we are talking about compass bearing. In compass bearing, we have these cardinal points. This is not this is south, this is east, and this is west. To describe this position, we are going to measure from origin because it says from origin. This is the origin knot. We want to measure 280 degrees from origin. Remember, from north to east is 90 degrees. And this 90 degrees is less than 280. We add again another 90, making 180, which is also less than this. We move on again. This is another 90, making 270. It's less than this. From 270, we need 10 extra degrees to meet 280. So it means roughly we have something like this. This is 10 degrees. This is 90, 90, 180, 90, 270 plus 10 is 280. So this is the direction of A. But how can we name it? This A is very closer to N, which is the knot, compared to south. So we have to consider the knot. So the position of this A is what? It's not 10 degrees west to north. We have to find this angle because we have to measure from the north. The total angle here from north to west is 90 degrees, but we already have 10 here. What is left is 80. So we have to measure it from the knot. So we say it is from the knot, 80 degrees towards west. So this is what describes this position A. Not 80 degrees west. Let us look on to another one. Okay, here is another one. You can see uh, we are asked to describe the position B, which is 400 degrees from the origin. 400 degrees. Our cardinal points, we have north, we have south, we have east, we have west. This is even more simpler to find. This is 400. The total angle we have is 360. So from here, if you move, move back up to this position, you have 360. But 360 is less than 400. Therefore, we keep on going. What do we need extra? 360, we need 40 more degrees to reach 400. So roughly, we have, this is B, and this must be 40 degrees. Because we started from origin, we move clockwise back to the main origin, 360. But 360 is less than 400. We need to add 40 degrees extra to meet 400. So we have 40 degrees here to meet B at that point. So it is already measured from the north because you can see north towards east direction is 40 degrees. So this B is not 40 degrees west. This is what describes this position. So I'm not going to say much about this compass bearing because the main subject is true bearing. So in my next class, we shall consider this true bearing, which is sometimes referred to as three-figure bearing. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.